Don't be like Peter. Show up for your business. Show up for yourself. Ask God for the things that you want. Don't leave anything untouched. But in your asking, make sure you're doing what you need to do. Make sure you're showing up. Make sure you're in the room. Make sure you're working hard and you're consistent. Make sure you're giving the Lord something to bless. This is Shanice and Wise, your business expansion coach and strategist. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Unstoppable Live Show where we talk business, we talk mindset, and we talk about you. OMG, I'm so excited because today is another day that the Lord has made. Um, let us be glad that we're here and that we're living and that we're breathing. And so if you have not given God praise just for waking you up today, go ahead and do that and take a moment. But anyways, welcome to the Unstoppable Live Show where we talk business, we talk mindset, and we talk about you. And so to learn more about me and everything that I have going on, you can click the link in my profile. Show it for your business. That seems like it would be so simple, doesn't it? Hmm. That seems like if you say you were called to do what it is you do, that you would be showing up. That means like you would go after all the opportunities that exist. That means uh, you would be present and you would make sure that you're in the room. Let me tell you, there's a lot of business owners that are out there that do not show up for their business. There's a lot of business owners that are out there that are expecting business to fall in their lap instead of going to get what it is that they need to get. There are a lot of business owners that are out there that are expecting things to happen. Do you know how often I get... um, Shanice, uh, I, I got all these programs out there. I got these lead generators out there. I got this, I got that, I got this. And so my question is, okay, but you have all these things out there, but how are you showing up? How are you consistently showing up for your business? Are you consistently posting? Are you consistently attending networking events? Are you consi- consistently sharing with the world who you are and what it is you do? Are you consistently being present Somebody said to me, Shanice, you are consistent with showing up for your show. And I always tell people that, you know, if you don't see me, that means that I'm speaking somewhere or I have another obligation. Um, But this Unstoppable Live show gives me the opportunity to be able to share my expertise as a business expansion coach and strategist to business owners, right? How else would you know who I am and what I do Unless you're in the same city as me, you've attended different events, you know, you have been in my coaching program. And so the way for me to educate the masses is showing up for my business on this Unstoppable Live show. The way for me to educate the masses is being on five different social media platforms. The way for me to educate the masses is my operations manager... If, if you're not on my email list, I consistently send out a weekly a newsletter um, sharing business tips and tools and educating and allowing business owners to know what's going on. And so I show up for my business at a maximum level, right? Because I don't want to just be known in Columbus, Ohio. I don't want to just be known in Ohio, I want to be known all over as a business expansion coach that teaches business owners how to successfully grow their visibility, how to successfully improve their profitability, how to successfully, you know, um, make sure that they have strong systems and strategies in place, how to successfully get business owners to six and seven figures. And so if I'm going to, if I want to be known, then I have to show up. Right. I have to show up. I have to put myself out there to be found. If you're a note taker, I'm a note taker. So if you're a note taker, I challenge you to write this down. Marketing is about getting found by your target audience. That's what marketing is. It's about putting yourself out there so people can see you. They can understand you. They can understand what your business does. They have clear, clear understanding of who you serve. And the way you do that is show up in your business for show up for your business in a mighty way. 
It's like on um, last Thursday, I attended an event. I'm a part of a business uh, organization. So I attended our monthly event and I'm standing there and I'm talking to, um, I just happen, you know, I'm the type, I will go through the room. Hi, y'all. Hi, y'all. Hi, y'all. And so I passed um, to uh, business owners and I'm like, hey, hey, ladies, how y'all doing? And we stopped and we talked and I'm like, okay, well, you know, I'm a business expansion coach. This is what I do. You know, here's my card. And they're like, whoa, back up, back up, back up. You do what? And I get home and one of them books a discovery session. Because I showed up. Because I showed up, right? So I have a virtual um, um, business networking dinner that I'm putting on for business owners. It's next Thursday. Cost $35. The link is in my profile. And you're like, why, Shanice? I go to these different networkings. Yeah, but this networking, I just shared with you, I attend an or, an organization event. I pay to be in that organization. The other business owners pay to be in that organization. I showed up that day, and now I have a booking on my calendar. Boom, right? I showed up. Showing up is important. You have to show up for your business. That's what separates Business owners who want something more and business owners that don't. God gives you a little bit. You bless. He blesses a little bit, right? Gives you a little bit. He looks at how you're going to handle that little bit and the way you handle it. If you handle it in a great way, he gives you a little bit more. And so now your little bit grows to a little bit more, right? And then how you handle it, he gives you more. He keeps next. You you'll know is you next. You'll look around and be like, Lord, thank you for my overflow. Cause you have no idea what you'll get just for being there. Remember, I went to my seminar that year when I was in Mary Kay, and I had no idea that that year coming up was going to be the best year yet. Remember, I went to the event last week, had no idea that a young lady I was going to meet was going to sign up for my coaching for a discovery chat. You have to show up. In order to get the blessings that God wants for you. I'm going to close out on this. And I share this story. I always change it around. But I'm going to share it with you. And so. And and many of you may have heard it. And if you have. Charge it to my head and not my heart. There's a story about. um, About Peter. Okay. Peter gets to heaven. And he looks at all these different doors. With his name on them. And so, but there's one door that has his name on it. But at the bottom, like in the minute, middle of it, it says, do not enter. And so he's going to the, all the different rooms and him and God are talking and he's going and getting the stuff that God, you know, that he, you know, asked God for and God gave it to him. And, you know, he's going to all these different rooms. He's in heaven. You know, he's going to these rooms. And then he, he keeps looking at that one room with his name on it that says, do not enter. And you know, we nosy, right? We nosy. And so he keep going back. And he's like, God was in the room. And God is like, don't go in that room. And he goes through to the other rooms that he can enter. And he keeps looking at that room. God was in that room. And he's like, and the Lord is like, you can't go in that room. Listen to what I'm telling you. You, for your own well-being, don't go in that room. But God, my name is on it. Peter, I'm telling you, don't go in that room. So with our nosy selves... He thinks the Lord is not looking and he goes into the room. And on the room are all these shelves with golden boxes. And he's like, Lord, what are all these boxes? Peter, I told you not to go in the room. But since you went in the room, I'm going to tell you anyways. Ain't that how we are? Right? We act like we don't want to know nothing and the Lord is trying to protect us from it, but we do it anyway. And the Lord is like, since you want to be disobedient, boom, let me tell you, let me show you. And so he's like, in every one of those golden boxes are blessings that I wanted to give you, but you didn't show up for them. You didn't ask me for them. And so Peter is going through each box like, don't be like Peter. Don't be like Peter. Show up for your business. Show up for yourself. Ask God for the things that you want. 
Don't leave anything untouched. But in your asking, make sure you're doing what you need to do. Make sure you're showing up. Make sure you're in the room. Make sure you're working hard and you're consistent. Make sure you're giving the Lord something to bless. How important is your business to you? How important is the gift that the Lord has given you? And you've put that gift inside of your business. How important is that to you? How important is for you to use your gift as your ministry to serve other people? How important is that to you? How important is it to you to generate, thank you for my heart, to generate more revenue for your business, for yourself, and for your family? How important is it to you to not use the gift that the Lord has given you in vain? Why do I show up? Because I love working with business owners. Why do you see me host events and create things for business owners? Because my heart is there. I want to see business owners succeed, especially women of color, especially. Why do I do what I do? I don't have to go live every day sharing. I don't have to do that. But why do I do it? Because my prayer is every time that I go live and I share, at least one person captures what I'm saying and connects with me so I can help them <clears throat> get where they need to go in business. It's always my prayer. Lord, allow me to connect with at least one person who is connected to my gift and who wants to work with me and who's ready to move to their next level. It's my prayer. And so show up for your business friends in a mighty, mighty way. Allow 2024 to be your unstoppable year. Y'all know that's my favorite word. Allow 2024 to be the year where you put all the shenanigans down. Cause I don't just do things just to do them. So y'all, thank you for joining me on today's Unstoppable Live show where we talk business, we talk mindset, and we talk about you. My name is Shanice and Wise, and I am your business expansion coach and strategist. Remember, remember as you go throughout your day that God loves you and so do I. Have an amazing day on purpose.